Good afternoon. My name is Namdi, Namdi Opara. I'm the executive director for Sundry Foods. I have responsibility to oversee the day-to-day -day, um, running of the business. Um, as you know, Sundry Foods owns several brands, a lot of brands under the umbrella um, for Sundry Foods Limited. Um, popular, most popular is the Kilimanjaro restaurant. We also have we have Pizza Jungle, um, which is our pizza brand. We have Nibbles Bakery, which arguably might rank um, among, it might be the you know, top three uh, bread brands in the country. Um, and we have uh, Sundry Food Services, which is our catering brand. And today that brand. Um, is responsible for providing food for several um, um, off-site locations and canteens um, for blue chip companies, multinationals, and um, industrial, you know, catering business. Okay. Um, for me, okay, this is my 16th year in Sundry Foods Limited, Kilimanjaro. Um, came alive in um, 2005. We started Sundry Foods in 2004. When I was joining Sundry Foods in 2004, um, August 4th to be precise, um, yes, there were, there were fears. There were concerns for me as a young um, graduate at the point, um, trying to join a company that um, was just starting a startup that was just starting. There was nothing to reference. Um, the industry was not even a very popular industry. Um, it's not an industry where you would encourage, you know, somebody you love to jump in. There were other uh, more attractive industries. There was the oil and gas. There was the telecoms. Um, there was the banking, which was even most popular at the time. So. Many people thought, you know, I was taking a gamble, but it was, for me, it was understanding the vision. And today I'm happy that I took this decision because I listened to the CEO at, at the point, um, the CEO, Mr. Belenua. He shared his vision. I said, this is where we're going to. He, he saw the opportunity. He felt um, being, residing in Portacourt, where we started from, he saw that um, Portacourt didn't have the best of um, the, the fast food segment, um, there were no nice, very nice places to go or very limited options. So he said, "This is the opportunity. This is where we should we should move into." And um, I bought into that vision, and I've, I don't have any regrets right now. But yes, at that point, in, in truth, was a couple of friends would say, well, what are you doing? You know, <laughs> why are you going here? Why are you why are you going to sell meat pie and you know rice and beans? But today it has been a very interesting, very interesting journey. And for me, I am most uh, proud and excited of being part of the pioneer team that has built this successful business today. Okay, um, a very, very good question. Um, we, we started, when we started of the Kilimanjaro brand, we said we wanted to build um, a, a, a restaurant, you know, with authentic African food, but presented in an international standard and style, okay? And um, you walk into a Kilimanjaro store today, you will see unique, we, we were, I think, the, the first to, to present it the same way you see uh, the kind of displays that you will see in a McDonald's store or with an international brand. But in there, in those displays, in those, in those merchandisers, you see lovely, um, you know, mouth-watering, authentic, you know, Nigerian food presented that way and those were the kind of comments we, we, we got. So we pushed their mission and the, the, our goals kept increasing, we kept changing. So for me, I, I had my decision dates, I had my five-year plans to say after five years, you know, I'll do an appraisal, I'll, do, I'll look at a review of my career, my performance 
And interestingly, every time I did that, I would see uh, that the organization is also <laughs> doing a similar review and picking up more goals you know, to, to jump on. So one, one good e example was at the fifth year, we decided, oh, we don't want to be, um, we now want to be a regional player. You know, want to be a regional player from just being playing in the city of Portacourt. And of course, that started our expansion. Um, at almost my ninth year or the ninth year of the business or so, when I said, I want to be a national player, you know, and that changed again. And once you are taking that kind of decision, everything has to change. The way you develop people, the way the challenges, the, you know, um, raising financing and, and all. So it's been, it's been very interesting. You know, the challenges keeps you, keeps you, keeps you going. Okay, um, for under my leadership, um, the Kilimanjaro brand is the, the vision for the Kilimanjaro brand. First of all, is to you know put our footprint all over the country. Um, today we have forty three stores. Um, we are very clear. Uh, we've taken some ambitious decisions. Um, to make sure that we have our restaurants and our footprint in all the cities today we have expanded and we've seen where we've seen opportunities cities where we haven't been to and we're going to push we're going to push into those cities um, we're also looking at opportunities that uh, even um, outside the shores of the country um, there's been a whole um, where a lot we've seen what has happened to globally regarding supply chains, we've seen what's going on regarding migrations, you know, in and migration out. And um, we, being the, the people's favorite, you know, the people's favorite brand, we also have to move with them. We have to move with them. So all that is in the works, all that is in the plant, but we are seeing opportunities to do more. We are seeing opportunities to create more jobs. When we started, you know, we started off with a team of, I think, less than 50 people today. We are pushing 2,000 staff out and above. Um, and these are direct, direct um, um, employment, direct staff, what of the indirect, what of vendors, what of the, the entire supply chain and what we can do. We are very excited to see um, opportunities that we have presented to farmers and um, the agri industry generally. Um, for us, we are the front, you know, because the conversation right now is farm to fork. And we're at the front end. Without, if we don't, if we don't do our best, then we are also limiting um, the the supply chain for the for the agro agro business, which the, 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 the entire country and of, of course not the entire country is interested in. And of course, we know that um, even the Nigerian government is moving from oil to you know to agri. Um, so there's a whole lot of opportunities for the Kimanjaro brand. We will just keep. Um, 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 I'm seeing opportunities even to create more meals, introduce more meals, as as people detest people's taste grow. We are following um, our customers. You know, we met some of them over 15 years. Some early Kimanjaro customers were were kids. Today, you know, they are they are joining the workforce today. You know, so. It's been it's quite it's been an interesting journey. Um, I feel very good on different fronts. Um, I feel good about my team. Um, we've built a good team. Um, we've developed our people. We've looked at um, um, most of the most. In fact, one of the best things I know is that as a company and as a brand, we are very engaging. So we're engaging inwards, we're engaging outwards. Um, the, this, the team we have, uh, we keep communication very open. We um, personally, we've driven or you know, we've, we've tried to introduce what we call the customer and the team um, strategy. Customer in the team strategy means that you don't treat the next person less than um, you would treat your, your, yourself. 
um, your expectations, the same expectations you have, you, you should understand that the next person in the team has the same expectations. And that way, you, it's easy for you to communicate and push, you know, collab get better collaborations to make sure that goals are achieved. Um, and every, at every level in the, in, the, in the brand, in the company, it is, it is done. Amongst the um, frontline people, the cashiers, you, if you, we, we integrate that kind of uh, strategy, that kind of collaboration. Um, strengthening teams, um, like I said, we're, we, we're very engaging brand, we're engaging worlds, we engage ourselves, we engage our teams, we engage our customers also. So um, we, you'll see that we have been more um, forward, the brand has been more forward, the brand has um, opened a lot of communication channels, um, social media and other forms of communication, reaching out to our customers, listening to them and making changes. In fact, for every customer um, that we listen to, we use that as an opportunity to win another ambassador and to let that customer understand that his or her input is very, very valuable. So these are the things I, I um, these, these are the big takeaways for me you know, over these years. Words, a few words. I wish I had so many words. So, um, start with authentic food, um, unique, warm place. Um, it's um, the Kimanjaro brand. This is the nicest brand you find. <laughs> authentic African food, you know, served by happy people. My name is Nam Para. I'm the Executive Director for Sundry Foods.